Okay, this problem is some examples from 2.6. We're just continuing with this related rates, related rates section. Now, I did previously record this video, but the um, recording had some difficulties, so I am going to go over the problem again. So that's why you might see some notations, like especially this spherical part um, circled here. So it says a spherical balloon is inflated with gas at a rate of 600 cubic centimeters per minute. How fast is the radius of the balloon changing at the instant the radius is 50 centimeters? So the first sentence does tell me um, an equation. It says the spherical balloon, so I know I'm talking about a sphere, which is a three-dimensional object, um, is uh, inflated at a rate. So there it goes, the rate. So that means I'm taking the derivative. But if I'm talking about a three-dimensional figure, most likely that um, measurement is either going to be the volume or it's going to be the surface area. Now, since I'm inflating this spherical balloon, that means what's inside. So I am talking about the volume, okay? So that is why I have this here where it says dv dt, which means the derivative of the volume with respect to time that's considered the rate is 600 centimeters cubed per minute. Now, the second sentence says, how fast, and this is a question, so there probably should be a question mark there. Um, how fast is the radius of the balloon changing? Um, so, I want to know how fast, okay? How fast is a rate again? And they want the rate of the radius which means that the derivative of the radius, that's what they're asking me for, okay? Now, in order for me to put these two bits of information together, I do need an equation that relates them together. I do know the equation for the volume of a sphere, which is why I circled that so I knew which formula to take. So the volume of a sphere is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And if I take the derivative of each side, I end up with the derivative of the volume with respect to t is dv dt, 4 thirds pi is my constant multiplier, and the derivative of r cubed is 3r squared times dr dt, because my base is not a t, and I am taking the derivative with respect to t. So since the base is not a t, I have to multiply by the derivative of that base, and the derivative of r is dr dt. Now the threes do cancel here, leaving me with 4 pi r squared dr dt, which is what I have here in this equation. Left hand side stays exactly the same. Then I'm going to plug in the bits of information I was given. So 600 is going to get plugged in for dv dt, and I do know r, the radius is 50 centimeters, so 50 will get plugged in for r there. The only thing I don't know is dr dt. So I simplified this expression here, and I got 10,000 pi times dr dt. Now if I want to solve for dr dt, I need to divide both sides by 10,000 pi. Well 600 divided by 10,000 pi is 0.6 pi or 3 over 50 pi. So that's one answer that's acceptable. If they do say they want decimals, then type this into the calculator and you'll get 0 0.019. Now my units are, this is cubic centimeters per minute. This was centimeters, but I've squared it. So now it's centimeters squared. Well, if you take centimeters cubed over minutes and divide it by centimeters squared, that's where you get centimeters over minutes. Okay, so it's just my units here.